These are the things that will cause a furnace to trip out on high limit. Dirty filter, dirty coil, cracked heat exchanger, bad airflow. Take a look at this clip at on a furnace that we worked on just yesterday where a furnace was tripping on high limit and the filter was dirty. Listen to the sound when the filter's in versus the sound when the filter is out. Okay. Do you hear that? Yeah. That right there shows you how hard it is to get air when the filter is dirty. That furnace is going to overheat because it can't get air. So sometimes a high limit is simply a matter of just a dirty filter. So change your filters. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you don't have a duct that's cracked. You need to make sure, not cracked, crushed or restricted. So make sure the return duct is not smashed and the supply duct is not smashed or restricted or too small, anything that causes bad airflow. You need to make sure that there's not a piece of furniture in front of the return. Check the evaporator coil, make sure it's not dirty. You need to clean that. And then the last thing is, if the heat exchanger is cracked, sometimes the crack is so small it won't actually cause the burners to blow out. It'll just put some hot gas on the high limit and cut it out. So. Those are the four things that usually cause a furnace to trip on high limit. And most of them are basic. Most of the time, it's just a dirty filter or a dirty coil. All right, that's your tip for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment if you have another question. Hit a like and tell people about this channel if they're trying to learn about heating and air conditioning. Have a good day.